This holy man fought to the death for the law of his God and did not fear the words of the godless, for he was built on solid rock. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. Today we gather in this holy sanctuary, this place where our Blessed Mother visited us. And today in the presence of our Blessed Mother, in the presence of our living God, we remember one of their sons, St. Wenceslaus, who gave his life for love of Jesus Christ. And so, my brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. O God, who taught the martyr St. Wenceslaus to place the heavenly kingdom before an earthly one, grant through his prayers that, denying ourselves, we may hold fast to you with all our heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. There is a season for everything, a time for every occupation under heaven, a time for giving birth, a time for dying, a time for planting, a time for uprooting what has been planted, a time for killing, a time for healing, a time for knocking down, a time for building, a time for tears, a time for laughter, a time for mourning, a time for dancing, a time for throwing stones away, a time for gathering them up, a time for embracing, a time to refrain from embracing, a time for searching, a time for losing, a time for keeping, a time for throwing away, a time for tearing, a time for sowing, a time for keeping silent, a time for speaking, a time for loving, a time for hating, a time for war, a time for peace. What does a man gain for the efforts that he makes? I contemplate the task that God gives mankind to labor at. All that he does is apt for its time. But though he has permitted man to consider time in its wholeness, man cannot comprehend the work of God from beginning to end. This is the word of the Lord. The response is, blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. He is my love, my fortress. He is my stronghold, my savior, my shield, my place of refuge. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Lord, what is man that you, that you care for him? Mortal man, that you keep him in mind. Man who is merely a breath, whose life fades like a passing shadow. Be the Lord, 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our mind so that we can see what hope his call holds for us. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. One day when Jesus was praying alone in the presence of his disciples, he put this question to them, who do the crowds say I am? And they answered, John the Baptist, others Elijah, and others say one of the ancient prophets come back to life. But you, he said, who do you say I am? It was Peter who spoke up, the Christ of God, he said. But he gave them strict orders not to tell anyone anything about this. The Son of Man, he said, is destined to suffer grievously, to be rejected by the elders and chief priests and scribes, and to be put to death, and to be raised up on the third day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In our Gospel today, our Lord Jesus Christ questions his disciples. Who do people say that I am? seeming to infer that when we encounter the living God, when we encounter Jesus Christ, there's an inability for us immediately to see God and to know him as he is. And we see this from the very beginning. In the Old Testament, we might think of Moses, who is out in the desert, and he sees a burning bush. But he sees this bush aflame, but not being consumed. But he doesn't recognize it as the presence of the Lord his God in his midst. It's not until he comes closer and the bush speaks out to him in the voice of the Lord that he is to take off his shoes, that he's on holy ground. It's not until he comes close to the burning bush, close to God, that he really begins to understand the power of having God in your life and the effect that it can have on other people. For this Moses will lead a whole nation out of Egypt will lead a whole people of Israel, God's people, out of slavery to a new life. Great things come when we get close to God. How true was that for our little three saints, or, and our saint-to-be, with Lucia, Jacinta, and their companion? How, with Francisco in their midst, they saw a woman, they saw a bright light, but immediately they did not know who this lady was. And so it was asked by Lucia, where do you come from? Heaven. And realizing, I think, just as Moses did, that there was something great here. There was something special here. There was something different here. There was a peace and lightness in my heart that I've never experienced before. I gotta believe. I gotta stick with this. And so she did, and so they did to the point where this lady gave us her name and revealed to us in her fullness and to them that she's our mother, our lady of the rosary, the immaculate heart where all of us can find refuge in this world that has so much suffering, so much pain, so much anxiety, so much disorder, that we have a home and place to rest. Peter, he knew. He knew who Jesus was and was able to make that proclamation of faith that we hear in our gospel today, that you are the Christ of God. Why? Because of his proximity to Jesus. He saw something different in Jesus, just as Moses and just as our three children did. He saw the blind see, the paralytics walk, the very dead come back to life. This was no ordinary human being. This was 
Someone, when he looked in my eyes and spoke to me, he touched my heart, and it made all the difference. So you and I, we are called. We are called to be like Peter. We're called to be like our three little children. We're called to be like Moses. We are called to allow the first steps of God when he brings a little bit of peace, a little bit of hope, a little ray of light into our lives to go deeper and to ask that question of our Lord, to ask that question of our Blessed Mother, who are you? Who do people say that you are? And by going deeper into prayer, and in devotion, into faith, into what we're celebrating here today, and living that out, and how we live our lives, may we always answer that question from the bottom of our hearts in truth and peace. That, Lord, you do exist. You are in my life. And you can make a difference. If, if I can say and proclaim who you truly are, my loving God, Emmanuel, God with us, God with me. And Mary, you are my mother. You aren't far and distant, but you're by my side as well. And with God as my father and Mary as my mother, whatever do I have to fear, whatever do I have to worry. And so today in the presence of our living God and, and of our holy mother, may we make that same declaration of faith that so many saints before us made. May we call Jesus Christ as God and Mary as our mother and find refuge, hope, and true peace and love in them. Brothers and sisters, we pray to God, the Almighty Father, who gave to the world through Mary his only Son as Savior and Prince of Peace. That the Holy Church, through the intercession of Virgin Mary, receive from God abundance of that peace which Jesus Christ brought into the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the efforts of all people of God will in promoting peace and fraternal harmony be blessed and crowned with success and that the entire world may experience that great gift of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That international institutions foster the search for peace among peoples and that weapons of death be transformed into instruments of peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That rich nations and their governments, overcoming the temptation of power and superiority, rectify injustices towards poor nations and help the many who are hungry and in need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that peoples who suffer because of war may once again find the gift of peace and concord, and that our deceased brothers and sisters share in the eternal joys of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the members of this assembly, united in the celebration of these sacred mysteries, be found worthy to greet one another in peace and be true messengers and servants of peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, almighty and eternal, you look with benevolence on every person. Grant to all the peoples of the world the grace to discover in the gospel message him who has born and came out into this world as Prince of Peace. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, who lives and reigns forever and ever.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Sanctify our offerings by your blessing, O Lord, we pray. And by your grace, may we be set afire with that flame of your love, through which St. Wenceslaus overcame every bodily torment. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr Wenceslaus, poured out like Christ's to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one, by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the whole world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Antonio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
through him and with him and in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, Lord, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirits. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me, says the Lord.
Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made your blessed martyr Wenceslaus faithful in your service and victorious in suffering through Christ our Lord. Amen. And at this time, if you've purchased or you have any religious articles that you would like to be blessed, please take them out and hold them up, and we will now bless them. So again, if you have any rosaries, statues, medals, uh, crucifixes, any type of religious item that you would like to be blessed, Please hold that up and we will, again, have that blessed right now. And so let us pray. Heavenly Father, you have given us these divine images to remind us of you, of your love, mercy, and constant presence. May all of these religious articles that we possess Bring us to a greater faith, hope, and love, that in all things we might be led to love your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and to love our mother, and through this love come to inherit an eternal reward in your heavenly kingdom. And so, Heavenly Father, we ask your blessing upon all of these religious items and the ones who use them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. On thirteenth of May, in Covadaria, a pièce of Riamfe, the Virgin Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave. Ave.